All right, it's Adam from the Small Town Machine Shop. So we're back here on the lathe. About to strip some more parts off it. So, as we talked about in previous videos, broken gear, broken gear. This gearbox will come off. It'll make it much easier to get these gears out of here. The only thing left is the this shaft for the uh, spindle on off. And then there's a bolt right there, right there, right there. Then this assembly can be taken over to the bench, which will make it ideal to work on. So I'm going to do that. There's just a set screw holding that on to get that out of the way. And then over here, I'll grab my flashlight. So I've been looking at the uh, carriage here, or the apron, you know, wondering about that guy who was war, but it wasn't super war. I got looking at the parts diagram. You can probably see that right there. Okay, this is a stud. And that's what's left of a spring. And it won't show Maybe if I get this to drop down, let me see it. Yeah, you can just start to see that hole back there. There's supposed to be a threaded stud in there that has the other half of that spring. So that keeps tension on it when this is cammed up. So there's constant upwards tension. So obviously that is attributing to that falling down there. So I'm hoping it lines up with this guy. I'm hoping that will pop out easily. Oh, oh, we're gonna get lucky. Yay. Well, not yet. Oh, there we go. Right there. That's, like, that's awesome that I can reach that. Now, I don't know what tension the spring is supposed to be. So I'll just have to get a few. But obviously, because it's just retained on a groove, it'll have to be a short one and be under tension even all the way up. I got to looking at that and so there's gotta be something else. There's gotta be something else. So using a combination of the parts manual and my Columbo-like detective skills, I found that hole back there. So get some springs, check that out, and hopefully that'll be all it takes to get this going. I still might build that up just because. We'll put the spring in there first and see what happens. So I'm back over here. Today's goal is to get this off, that shaft out of there, this on the bench, so I can go over how I'm going to fix those gears. I'll bring you back. Okay, so... We have prized the gearbox off of the lathe. I'm gonna take a uh, pre loosen these. I took lots of pictures taking this off. Got one, a washer. I think so it is. A lot of stuff on this machine is retained. Not retained. The guide with roll pins. I don't know if I'm going to switch those over to dowel pins. Come on. Come on. Off, off, off. Launch. What was that? Okay, that was all the brass pieces. Okay. So, before we forget... This one goes in the middle. This one goes on the left. Where'd that other one go? There it is. Very random thing to have. Let me change this video. Okay. That guy's over there. So now we can get at this thing. Let's scoot it over. So there's our damaged gear. And then this one's also damaged. 
gears look really good. I mean, there's a few, obviously they were shifting this when it was in motion. I'm never a big fan of that, especially on your own machines. Um, you know, so the, the lead ins on some of these gears have some wear, but we have to replace this gear and this gear. Now this gear, all these gears on this bottom free float on this shaft. And these ones are captured by, there's a nut back here. I'm not going to take this apart today. But I'm going to go over my plans to fix this. Hold on one second. The lens looks a little smudgy. That's what happens when you film stuff as you're working in the shop. Okay, let me see if I can, let me get you out of this holder. That'll just be easier. Okay. Now you see this gear here? This is the damaged one. This is our main culprit. There's a lot of meat between here and this internally broached spline part. What I'm gonna do is I can find this gear easily. Of course, the internal spline part. I don't know if it's pressed onto this little sleeve here or not. I know more when I get it off. My plan is to turn this down most of the way, get a gear, interference fit it, maybe even pin it in two or three locations, because that'll be easy enough to replace this without having. I'm having trouble finding ones that are internally splined with this extra collar width right here. So that's how we're going to fix that one. Now this upper one. It doesn't show, but this is pretty thick. Um, this bushing, this this gear is this part. It's this smooth part here and this. These are all stacked together and clamped with that nut. But this is really thick, so I'm going to do the same thing there. I'm going to turn all the threads off it and down a bit and press on a gear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the gear down past this, then pin it, probably two pin, of course, press fit it, and then put a couple pins through this and into this because the, you know, there'll be less meat in it. So that's how I'm going to fix that, I believe. So I'm going to... I need to clear off a big spot before I take all this apart and take a million pictures. And I have a customer job just came in, so I have to take care of that. But uh, I wanted to let you guys know what I was going to do. And I fully believe that'll be a perfectly good repair, especially on this one. I don't think there'll be any problem with it. But yeah, the rest of it looks, looks okay. I mean, nothing. You can see right here what I'm talking about. See this wear? You get right here. That's from shifting it when it's moving. So yeah. She's looking pretty barren. Gonna clean all that up. Got the carriage. By the way, that, that tube, the oil tube that was sticking down that fitting, that's just a check valve. So we don't have to do anything with that. I'll clean all this up while it's off. When I took this hose off to get the gearbox off, the pump was still full oil, so now there's a gigantic oil puddle underneath this, what was left in the oil pump. So we're making a mess, but more importantly, we're making progress. So I'm very encouraged by what I've seen and what I've taken off so far. So yeah, very cool. We are moving right along. So this is Adam for Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.